Hi friends, this is the last video for the first version of the 28GHz patch antenna array design. In this video, we need to build a 1 to 8 power divider and combine it with the antenna array we made in the last video with minor modifications. First, I'm going to give you the fundamental design rules of a 1 to 2 power divider. This 1 to 2 power divider is a 50 50 power divider with a 50 ohms input impedance. So the energy is equally divided into two parts. Then I reuse this divider with minor modifications to form a 1 to 8 power divider. In the last, I combined the 1 to 8 power divider with the antenna array we designed in the last video with minor modifications to have a 12 dBi realized gain. Since this array is for mobile applications, the realized gain should be at least 12 dBi. The 1 to 2 power divider is a 3 port structure. We need to know some features of the 3 port structure. Some textbooks, such as Microwave Engineering, written by Poser, indicate a critical feature of the three-port structure. For a three-port structure, we cannot make it lossless and all ports matched simultaneously. So, for a hybrid ring divider or Wilkinson divider, an extra resistor is used to achieve good matching at all the ports. But this increases the insertion loss, so I prefer a T-junction power divider instead of a Wilkinson or hybrid ring divider. The return loss may not be very well for a T-junction 1 to 2 power divider, but I need to reuse it to form a 1 to 8 power divider. This three-stage structure will have a better return loss than the 1 to 2 divider. There are many reference papers to design a 1 to 2 power divider. There are two papers we can refer to. The basic idea is to design a transit to connect the 350 ohms transmission lines. We parallel to 50 ohms microstrip line, so the input impedance is 25 ohms. Here I use a quarter wave impedance transit to change the impedance from 50 ohms to 25 ohms. Here are the simulation results. The return loss and insertion loss are not very well. We can check the E-field distribution on the microstrip line and the spot where the energy is lost. Then optimize the sets. Here are the results of the optimized structure. We parallel two of the 1 to 2 power dividers and use another 1 to 2 power divider with a larger distance between the two outputs to form a 1 to 4 power divider. Similarly, we parallel two of the 1 to 4 power dividers and use another 1 to 2 power divider with a larger distance between the two up outputs to form a 1 to 8 power divider. Here, we have changed the two parameters of the antenna array. First, the array pitch is changed from 5 mm to 5.5 mm. Second, increase the number of elements from 6 to 8, so we can have a realized gain larger than 12 dBi to satisfy the mobile applications. We achieved the 12 dBi realized gain in the last video with a 6 element array. However, the 1 to 8 power divider introduced more insertion loss. We need to increase the number of radiation elements in the array to compensate for the power divider introduced insertion loss. We use a coaxial structure to link the output of the 1 to 8 power divider and the radiation elements. Here are the simulation results. It is clear we achieved the realized gain over 12 dBi.
In this project, we start from design a patch antenna working at 28 GHz. Then we add VFNs wrapping the patch to increase its isolation. So when we use this patch antenna to form an array, there's less frequency shift. Third, we build a 1 to 2 power divider and use it to create a 1 to 8 power divider. Finally, we link the antenna array and the 1 to 8 power divider by coaxial structure. For this design, we get the realized thing larger than 12 dBi, which is suitable for mobile applications. Thanks for your watching.